Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a requested video on my natural curly slash wavy slash transitioning hair routine. I've been trying to wear my hair curly and natural for a couple days now. I try to do it as often as I can between blow drying just to give my hair a break from the heat damage. So if you guys want to know how to get this curly hair or see how I at least do my hair, just keep on watching. So first things first, in the shower, I'll just make sure my hair is fully wet, just make sure it's saturated with a bunch of water before I go in and add any products. So for my curly hair, I usually just use conditioner. I'm using the Carol's Daughters Fortifying Conditioner and the Tresemme Purifying and Replenish Conditioner. And I like to use this instead of shampoo when I'm doing my curly hair. Of course, I'll shampoo my hair at least once a week, but after I keep washing my hair, I don't wanna keep using shampoo because it'll keep stripping my hair down. So using conditioner sort of as a co-wash kind of helps to moisturize my hair, yet still cleaning it from the day before. I'll also go in and sort of finger comb with my fingers, not too much, just to at least separate some of the hair strands so it'll be nice and wavy curls. So after I've applied all the conditioner, I like to leave it on for a few minutes just to make sure that it makes my hair all saturated, maybe one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, or just five minutes is about a good time. So just let that saturate and do a little dance in the shower like I am. Now we're just gonna rinse, rinse, rinse. After most of the conditioner is rinsed out, I just like to scrunch on my fingers a little bit just to keep the shape of the curls or the waves or whatever you'll call them. Now I'm just gonna wring out my hair to take out as much water as I can before I get out the shower. And then I'm just gonna go back in and scrunch a little bit more just to keep that curl texture. Next is styling. So I use this Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner, and this just adds some extra moisture to my hair. I'll spray it all throughout my hair as much as I can, and also focusing on the ends, which is the most damaged part. After I spray that, I'll just go in and scrunch a little bit more. Then I'll go in with this Carol's Daughter Hair Milk. It's a leave-in moisturizer. And this just helps to moisturize my hair even more, plus the conditioner. Just making sure that those curls are staying hydrated throughout the entire day. And once again, I'm just going in and scrunching my hair. So I use a t-shirt to dry my hair. What I'll do is I'll gather all my hair together, sort of like in my hand as if I was putting it in a ponytail. And I'll just lower my head onto the t-shirt as you can see in the video. 
and I'll just take the two sides of the t-shirt and I'll actually wrap them around my head. And then I'll grab the top of the t-shirt with the sleeves and I'll just bring it to the back of my head and I'm actually going to be tying those sleeves together. And doing this method actually helps your hair to be frizz free because if you use a towel it kind of creates more frizz so using a cotton t-shirt kind of helps to eliminate that frizz. So I'll leave this t-shirt on my head while I sleep for about 10 hours or so and then in the morning I'll actually take it off and you'll see how the curls will look. So after I take the t-shirt off my hair, you can see my hair still is a little bit damp, but that's completely fine because we will be air drying it for a couple more hours. But right here, I'm just trying to make sure before it fully dries, I'm just going to fix how I want my hair to lay because once it dries, it's kind of harder to actually fix where you want each curl to be placed. And then I'll leave it just like this for about two hours more, just to let it air dry completely. And once it's air dried, you see it got a little bit fuller. Of course, it's still a little bit damp, but don't worry, throughout the day, the hair will dry completely and it'll even be more fuller than it is. So that is my everyday natural curly hair routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, my hair isn't perfect. It's still transitioning from the heat damage and the color damage that I have in my hair. But hopefully, if I keep on doing this, it'll be even better and curlier and luscious curls that I've been wanting for so long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!